Hi guys, I hope you're safe and I hope that you're well. If you're new to my channel then welcome. There's a variety of videos that are here to help young people like yourself to become better versions or to work on the version that you are. It's about building your self-awareness, building your resilience and allowing you to kind of help yourself as much as you can do with the support of, of adults around you. In this week's video, I would like us to talk about being a people pleaser and actually how by creating healthy boundaries and trying to find the right balance, you can actually control the need to possibly for you to be a people pleaser. The thing is with people pleasing is that it's often created from such a young age, maybe when we were toddlers or maybe at primary school, younger at primary school, where we soon realise as, as, as little humans that by doing good things, by helping people, we attract praise, respect, appreciation. But the thing is though, as we grow older, sometimes people just take that for granted. They may not kind of necessarily mean to, but sometimes what happens is it people just take it for granted. And it can often f leave us feeling stressed, tired, burnt out, sometimes responsible for, for other people's actions. Sometimes it may even feel that we are. It's down to us for other people to be happy, that we need to stay friends or be in this particular relationship with this person because we make them happy. And then those people that we do try to please can often kind of just expect more, maybe even become manipulative or make us feel guilty when they don't get their way. And obviously, as you can imagine, that this is gonna have an impact on your life, whether that's socially or academically. So what we need to do is we need to learn to kind of implement healthy, healthy kind of boundaries, and also about the importance of getting that balance about being kind, about helping people, but also about helping ourselves and being kind to ourselves too. I need you to remember that it's who you are as a person that's just as valuable as what you do as being you. But I'd like you to just explore with me maybe the reasons why you feel the need to be a people pleaser. Is it because you fear loneliness is it because you actually like to be liked? Is it because it's your sense of identity of always being the, the people pleaser, always being the one that rescues? So it's about realizing and trying to understand what is it that maybe you're scared of that might drive you to be that people pleaser. And I've got three steps now that you can implement to kind of help yourself so my first one is about the need for change. If you can imagine you've got a bucket full of, of love, kindness, energy, compassion, but what often happens is we give so much of ourselves to other people, and that's friends, families, teachers, um, classmates, that often we give so much of ourselves to other people that it often leaves us with nothing. So what we need to do is we need to kind of allow ourselves to make change. Now this change might be tiptoeing change and I'm happy with tiptoe change because forward is still forward. It doesn't necessarily matter about the speed. It's just about the direction. But what I'd like you to do is it's just about you realizing and understanding that you matter, that you matter. So when it comes to those friendships or relationships where you're going out of your way to please people, I want you to just kind of realize at what point did it change? Because ideally, everybody in your life is equal just like you are, ideally. Um, but it's about realizing actually when did that friendship or that relationship change, where you eventually kind of was ready to put them up on a pedestal, in, even though it made you go kind of feel a bit lower about yourself. And when it does come to particular people maybe, you have two options, really, cutthroat options, by the way. Ditch that person or stitch. Now, ditch that person is really harsh, but actually you've really got to ask yourself, are they good for you? Have they been helpful? Are they positive in your life? Do they bring out the best in you? 
Or is that relationship and that friendship worth stitching? Is it worth repairing? Is it worth trying to explain how you feel? Is it worth just trying to see what you can change without them realising? So it's those baby steps moving forward. My second one is about the need for you to think before you speak. So it's about allowing yourself, adding space. So if they're asking to go out or if they're asking for you to do this or that, it's about you realising that you don't need to necessarily say yes straight away. You can say, oh, can I think about it? Or I'll get back to you or I'll just check if I can get a lift. It's about allowing yourself some space to actually think, what do you want to do? Do you want to go? It's also about the need for you not to apologise for everything. People pleasers often find themselves apologising a lot of the time when they're not even to blame. So it's about realising actually when do you need to apologise? Taking responsibility for when you do, but also allowing yourself to, to listen and to accept apologies when other people say it. Because sometimes you're not always in the wrong. You just may feel it because of your own maybe low self-worth. It's also about the need for you to realise that maybe what you can do is you could ask for help with that particular person or those friendships. It's not always you needing to rescue them. Maybe you could allow yourself to ask for help. Not necessarily to test them to see if they'll rescue you because that could be disappointing and heartbreaking, but maybe just kind of change the tables and, and see how they react if, if you'll be honest with them. So yeah, that's point number two, just adding that space and time between having to say yes to every single action or every single demand maybe. And my third one is about know yourself. It's about you realising that actually, and don't get me wrong, this takes time because eventually what will happen is the more you'll learn to respect yourself, be kind to yourself, give yourself that self-compassion, you'll realise that actually the need to please other people becomes less because your self-worth is, is, is kind of increased. So yes, this does take time, but actually this is the opportunity for you to get to know yourself, for you to get to know what are your beliefs, what are your morals, what are you like as a person? And that's the importance of being able to kind of improve that sense of, of self-worth that will allow you to not worry so much about having to please people. So it takes effort, it takes effort, it's, it's a lot of practice, but it's just kind of introducing and implementing healthy, healthy boundaries that will give you the opportunity to become more of the true person that you are, rather than always feeling that you need to please people. And remember that you are you. There is nobody out there that looks like you, walks like you, talks like you. And actually that gift itself, just that friendship, that kindness, that's good enough. You don't always need to go out of your way to make sure and rescue and please other people. Easier said than done, I know. I've suffered with people pleaser when I was a little girl and when I was a teenager, so I, I, I really relate to this. But it's just so important that you learn at, at your age to take control of this now before it takes control of you. So yeah. Anyway, you look after yourselves and I'll see you again soon. Bye everybody, bye.